Yeah, this is my uh, second attempt to climb Mount Coxcomb. Last time I didn't see the ladder, Tom descended on it. But me, I just went, uh, I crossed the creek, I threw a couple of rocks and uh, it was all dry. So I can avoid it. There we go. There we go. Coxcomb. Tom is heading for the summit, which is uh, very close. I will follow him shortly, of course. Yeah, it's a mix of uh, cloud and smoke. But the good thing is, the smoke is uh, less on uh, the direction that I want to feel now. I'm filming now and uh, the reason is because uh, you don't see these mountains from uh, the highway or from other peaks south of here. It's a good uh, location. Now you can see the smoky area. Unfortunately, but it's okay. I got those. Uh, I've been on some of those peaks, so I got videos of those mountains anyway. It's not an issue. of Mount Coxcomb in Banff National Park here is Tom uh, apparently there is no no pencil to write on that uh, oh, I want to show you Jose and Fabrice let me see okay quickly because this is uh, not as important as a view amigo well, it is for some people, but uh, right now it's the only sunny break you got before the descent. And I better hurry to try to take a good panorama here. Uh, yeah, there were some goats trucks all the way to close to the summit, but then they vanished. I don't know when they descended on the side. So. Maestro Adrian made in a second week, of course, a foolish, a foolish attempt last week. So Tom, where do you think I was last week? It's somewhere over there, right? Eh? Behind that. Oh, I was exactly, I was exactly behind that big cliff there. Wow, how ridiculous! I, I could have. I could have eventually bypassed it, no? What do you think? Oh. If I had 10 lives... <laughs> Wings, eh? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, so again, uh, the crews are definitely not very good, I'm telling you. I mean, from the point of view of uh, clarity in my camera. Hopefully on uh, YouTube will be on a big screen much better. But from here, I can barely see anything. So do you recognize any peaks, man? Oh, a lot. This storm. Hang on, hang on. I, no, no, I'm talking about the, I'm the other direction. It's Fifi huh? back there. In that part, Fifi, huh? Yeah, looks like a, that's Fifi direction. That's uh, the finger, and beyond uh, the snowy cover. Which one? Okay. Well, 
I'm not smoke, unfortunately. That's a shame, but what can I do? And that's Randall, eh? You see the Randall? Yeah. Eisenhower Tower. Let me come back here. And of course, Mount Ishbel over there. Mount Ishbel, yeah, I saw it last trip too. Yeah, that's a better views in that direction. Okay, at least the sun is coming up. It's not bad, oh yeah. Not bad? Yeah. It's just that those mountains are uh, kind of just brownish, uh, little snow on top. Nothing much to impress you. Know? Yeah. I'm gonna conclude here for now. Oh yeah, Tom, you know, I forgot to tell you, there is a little tarn over there. If you look, you see it? I'm gonna zoom on, on that tarn in a bit. You see it? That direction, you see? You mean up there in a... In a, in a valley. Kind of halfway. You see it? In there. I don't know if you can see on the left side of that ridge to the left of the valley. What? There's a cave. I don't know if you a can... A cave? See. You might be able to see the cave. Where? You see the ridge? Yeah. It's quite high. The ridge is close to the cave. On our ridge? to the right of Mount Ishmael. Is that meadow visible there? Yeah. Below the Ishmael? I'll, I'll come back to it. Yeah, let me just get this valley here. It's a beautiful valley down. Yeah, the goats just vanished. Uh, they must have been... going to be here uh, much earlier. Also, the snow prints were look kind of freshy but who knows it might have just be behind some cliffs right now okay I'm gonna try to zoom on the tarn it's gonna be tough I don't see anything you know camera you see it Done here. Now let's go. Yeah. Any idea what I reach in that direction? Those mountains? Uh, isn't that Cascade Ridge that stretches this way back? Sorry? <coughs> I'm not sure that might be Cascade Ridge. Cascade Ridge? Yeah, back there. Oh. You know, it stretches pretty far to the left. Oh man, you know what? Do you see that trail where you can actually go around to some... Uh, must be that one. Oh yeah, Mount Cori and those things, eh? That's right. Edith and Cory, yeah, I yeah, forgot about Corey, that. And then behind will be, uh, like back there, this uh, Cascade Mountain. Yeah, is that one that uh, this was... This ridge here, I'm not too sure what is the name of this ridge. That one that was climbed by uh, that famous Austrian climber, you know? So Which I don't have a 
the name of the Austrian flag. The one I, I saw in Bagabu is that uh, Jack Kelly, you know. I forgot the name. Oh. Kevin? Hypoxia, amigo, I better turn it off. <laughs> you want to say more silly stuff? I believe uh, this must be the gully that Kane, Alan Kane suggests in scrambles in the uh, Canadian Rockies as a second option besides the ridge which we did on its left. The ridge was really good, it was, uh, was steep, so, but pretty uniform on a uh, very on a narrow Avi gully, no bushwalking, just uh, pretty straight through, fast elevation gain, and of course, elevation loss on the descent. Really, really good. <laughs> 